Okay, guys, welcome to Go Academy. If you guys like the video, click the like button and subscribe. So today we're going to be looking at this capturing race problem where we'll be playing as black, trying to capture the white before they can capture us. And for every capturing race, you should count your liberties first. If the opponent has equal or less, well, you're probably going to win. But if they have more, now that's when we have a little bit of a problem. So first we can see we have one, two, three, and white seems to have a little bit more, maybe four. And when the opponent has more liberty than us, that's where we have to start reading, having to think of complex moves. And today we're going to go through that. So let's just try some moves, some basic attacks. So first, this bad move. You're breaking fundamental rules. You don't want to go somewhere where it reduces your liberty. Look, we had three, now we only have two. You don't really do much except Atari this, and always going on the inside is not the best move. Reduces your liberty, and you're like fogging yourself up. Once white connects here, white has one, two, three, we only have two. So white can capture us first. Not the best move. Don't go on the inside. Don't make a move that reduces your liberty. Okay, so how about the next move? Well, a lot of beginners might think this. It's a nice bait. White takes, we Atari connect, and we take the white, right? Well, there's a one little problem is white's not gonna connect here. White's gonna Atari when we take. What is that? It's a co. If black wins the co, well, we get captured the white. But if white wins the co, they capture us. It's not a guaranteed win. We don't know who will win. So we're not gonna settle for that. We want a guaranteed win. So for this question, bait might not work. Bait, baiting a stone works in a lot of cases. Very good move, always think of it. But in this specific problem, it's not gonna work. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is gonna be the very basic, the very fundamental rule, reduce the opponent's liberty from the outside. So we're gonna do that, reduce the liberty from the outside. Reducing liberty from the outside is a good move 90% of the time. When you're lost in a capturing race problem, if you don't know what your first move is gonna be, well, try reducing liberty from the outside. Works a lot of the time. Seems like it might be a weird move, but always reduces the space, always reduces the liberty. Always a good move, 90% of the time. For this move, well, white only has one real move right here. Anywhere else will get the white captured. So white doesn't really have much choice. If white goes here, you simply connect. White can't do anything. It just doesn't work out. So white's gonna go here. Best move for white. Now this is where some people make the mistake. They're almost there, almost at the finish line, and they make a mistake here. A lot of people think, oh, now I can bait, right? Well, once we Atari here, white well, can't go here like last time, try to make a co, but white well, can capture here, which again leads to a co. Well, in this case, it's a little bit better of a position for us because we can lose one, but we can still come back. But a co is still a co, not a guaranteed win. We still might lose and we want that guaranteed win. So baiting is not going to work here. Well, some people might think, well, let's connect. You know, we're in Atari. If white takes, that immediately gives white a lot more liberties. So connecting might seem like a good move. Well, the problem here is when white goes here, we can bait. And what is that? It's a dual life. We can't go here. 
Once we take, we can't go here. White can't go here. So no one can go on this spot. Well, whoever goes first will lose. So no one's going to go there for the rest of the game. Ends up in a draw or dual life. Neither of the stones count as captured. So if we don't capture the white, that's not a guaranteed win. So we can't settle for dual life either. So what is the second move? Almost finished. What is the second move? Well, it's going to be just simple Atari right here. If white Atari's us, we're going to take. Well, white can't go here. White has to take. And that's where this shape just ends up. White can't go here. White going here leads to this. Again, white can't go here. If white connects again, white still can't go there. White can never go on this spot. Which means white can never capture us. White can't go here. White can't go in here. White has to go here before it can go anywhere else. This is the only move white has to reduce our liberty. But every time white goes here, it reduces the white's liberty to one, putting it in Atari. So it can never capture us because white going here puts itself in Atari. No matter what, white can't go here, white can't go here. No matter what white tries, it can't do anything. So with that, we capture the white. White can't go in here, so white can't capture us. So while white is connecting, we can simply start to reduce its liberty and then capture it. So for this problem, look for a way to reduce liberty from the outside. And remember, bait doesn't always work. Try to avoid co unless it's the only way to survive. So thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you guys enjoyed, go check out another one.